Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna run to bounce this from Bound into Comics. Miss Marvel reportedly opens to the lowest premiere viewership numbers of any Disney Plus Marvel series. <laughs> My belly <laughs> laughing almost or a minute so far. <laughs> this is what happens when you go woke and you take a character that nobody's gonna give a goddamn fucking shit about it. Because that character sucks! Even the moment it was conceived, it was a goddamn fucking self-insert from the wrong from the creator. Holy shit! <laughs> right, right, let's go and read this garbage. Miss Marvel is apparently struggling to embiggen itself within the hearts of viewers as according to the new report. The young superheroine in solo outing has opened to the lowest viewership number of any Disney Plus Marvel Cinematic Universe tie-in shows. That was a mouthful. A big mouthful. <laughs> On June 17th, television data analytics company Samba TV. <sighs> Those data is aggregated from roughly 24 smart TV brands from countries around the world, including LG, Sony, and Sharp, announced that only 775,000 US households watched the premiere of Hashtag Miss Marvels on Disney Plus in its first five days. Holy shit, on five days in... Five days? I thought that was only one day when it was released! Holy shit! That's actually very bad numbers! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> shit again! After seeing that they actually took no first and foremost, her superpowers were from Plastic Man, there was Reed Richards, and now they are actually stealing the powers from these DC Comics Green Lantern on the division of Jesus! <laughs> and her costume, the special effects, everything on the goddamn fucking trailer looks retarded! I'm actually looking forward to Aza's review of this garbage. <laughs> Poor guy, I don't know how many neurons he lost trying to cover the... What was it? Oh! Sorry? Sorry? Front hole, birth... No. Fly mammal, front hole, birth in person of adult age series. I'm being inclusive, who's gonna goddamn fucking judge me? Yeah, I meant part woman. And then he covering Obi one, <laughs> and that thing was being a disaster to his brain. Poor dude, he's suffering. I wonder how bad this is going to be on this goddamn fucking holy shit a TV show that they actually did it only to check boxes. It's garbage. It's a garbage show. Right, where was I? Well, less than other MCU series, it was a hit with the hashtags Gen Z. They added viewers age 20 to 24, watch at the highest rate of any MCU, and drew in more diverse audience with black, Hispanic, and Asian households watching it at a higher rate. Right. Unfortunately for Kamala Khan, 
Samuel Troll can in these numbers? Leave Miss Marvel with the worst such numbers of any MCU related TV television series, if possibly animated what if series. I don't give a shit. As per their insight, the premiere of Moon Knight, which was also a garbage show, the most recent MCU series prior to, MC to Miss Marvel, managed to pull in 1.8 million US households across its five days. Traveling backwards. Wait, 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 wait. 775,000 US households. Holy shit on a pickle. This is bad for that MCU series. Traveling backwards as mouse screen debut, the archers Clint, Clint Barton and Kate Bishop, Hawkeye, don't care. Right, Tom Hiddleston led Loki to pull the competition with a massive 2.5 million. Yeah, I'm pretty sure quite a bit of those were women trying to watch this. But then again, Disney then shot upon the fans and all of that by making him bisexual. Hey, virtual signaling is the overrepresentation of demographics. So basically, let's see. Not even ha uh, Huh. Let's see, 775,000. Not even half of Weather Vision. Booking some wild ride of Falcon the Winter Soldiers wasn't far behind as the wildly pan team had managed to draw 1.8 million. Holy shit, so that's the fat WS. The Falcon and the Winter Soldiers. Yes, yes, the fat. <laughs> right, even I am finding joy out of that one. <laughs> In fact, that acronym was actually more fun than watching the trailer of Miss Marvel. Hey, that shows a lot when the goddamn fucking acronym is acronym. Not acronym. Acronym. Sorry, my English fails. Don't judge me. Judging me is xenophobic. Right. The one division arguably the only series which has thus far had any real repercussion for the MCU kick off Disney Plus era of the MCU, don't care. Well, an exact reason for Mazo Miss Marvel overship is unknown, though undoubtedly due to in some part of Marvel fatigue and the series being out as being younger viewers rather than the fans as a whole, the show is notably facing something none of its predecessor had to. Competition. I thought it was a mosquito for a moment. Oh well. Though its first three episodes, Miss Marvel was scheduled to release each of its new entry entries directly alongside Obi Wan, fucking Kenobi, whose central character and franchise hold a much larger fan base among the general population. Offer a choice between I'm watching a series centered on a relatively new character whose history is mired in controversy and whose stories have only declined in quality since her debut. Tell you the truth, the story even on her debut was garbage. And all her comics ended up getting cancelled even before finishing. And how bad it was. And remember, selling a 10,000 units for Marvel is actually a good thing. Even though those 10,000 units in the past was garbage numbers. Today, it's great because of how woke Marvel is. Manga is pulling massive, massive numbers, dwarfing anything that Marvel manages to put that is good. So, you know, 10,000 is shitty, and Miss Marvel couldn't even pull that. Right. Oh, sorry. All right. With her icons, character, and story, at least prior to Disney subversions, have inspired fans for 45 years. It's not hard to imagine that most viewers would choose the latter. And even though the latter is a goddamn filthy, filthy fucking garbage. <laughs> now, the interesting is that the audience scores on Rotten Tomatoes. Let's say, not not toxin, 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 not toxin. Good. It says 83, although it was 84 a moment ago. Obviously, the critics love it because it's the critics, but I'm looking forward to this when it lowers even more. And it will. But how much? I don't know. But let's go and check out the critics. 
that's going to switch to my face, which is more interesting. Right, here's the critics. An adulterated bundle of enthusiasm, optimism, and charm without being sway. Exactly the combination you need if your superhero fatigue has settled in. Tell you the truth, my superhero fatigue has settled in quite a bit after the goddamn garbage that followed with the woke Marvel. Not to the point it has ruined everything else before it. So, you see, it's bad. Wait, right. Well, Sonic's character is developing a distinct point of view which lead actress is sure is going to be a big star. You'll find a lot of can keep you entertained. And uh, even if it doesn't raise the bar compared to other Marvel Studio projects. Mmm. Aw. Aw. Go suck a cock. Really? That's it? You only go one? All critics? Two? Top critics? Only that woman? A news.com that you uh, you. So, eh. it's pretty shitty. Pretty shitty. With special effects that make CW wonder. Hey guys, stop copying my special effects! Which only a child could actually do it. Mm. Anyway, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night. I'm definitely looking forward when those ratings go down. So it's more content for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>